Adam, you ordered one of those this morning, didn't you? I, I did. I had been planning for this, actually. Um, one of the reasons why I did not get an iPhone 15 Pro, because I was uh -huh. going to take that money and use it for this, <laughs> although I don't know how much the sting out of the... the the 4k bill that took Ugh. yeah right <laughs> it was hard for, for uh, just, okay yeah so, so how did the pricing work out for you yeah, it's like thirty four hundred dollars yeah. what do you mean uh, 4k yeah well, thirty four ninety nine, and then you start adding on the stuff right and so you get in there and oh guess what there's a 256 option which is the 34.99 256 gig storage and then well do you want 512 that's another 200 bucks even <sighs> though i could go get that for about 50 bucks, I think, just about yep. any place else, maybe even less. I don't know. What does a 256 SSD cost these days? It's around 50 bucks, I would, I'm imagining, I think. Yeah, yeah or Somewhere less. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but, you know, Apple, they love to charge for that stuff. And then you could go all the way up to a terabyte. And, you know, I was originally just going to go with the base model. And I thought, you know what? I'm not going to be buying, like, every version of this thing. So, like, my option to upgrade... <laughs> It's not going to be like, I'm not spending another four grand next year for the two or whatever, or two years, whatever it is. Yeah, so right. I need a little longevity. So I get, I wanted to give myself a little headroom. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'll take the middle tier, you know, and then um, you got tax. But then the super sting really was the Apple Care. I, I didn't do my research. Had I done this ahead of time, I would have known and been prepared. But $4.99 for Apple Care Plus. Whoa, twenty four ninety nine a month, which I went with the monthly option, you know, because that allows you to continue until you don't want to pay it anymore. Yeah, right. Um, and you know, with that, the price on that device and the amount of technology that's in there, it's like, yeah, I I need to have Apple Care Plus on this thing, especially in a V one right. product, right? So if there's any kind of defects or any other things, I just don't want to deal with it. Yep. So. Yeah, I think you get a year on the hardware out of the box, but still, it's just like I'm planning on having this thing for a long time. It's sort of like I look at it like I never bought like really high end Macs for myself. Like I always was kind of I, I MacBook Pros, but you know, kind of yep. lower middle tier. Never went for like a Mac Pro or a Mac Studio or like anything crazy. So this is my foray into the uh, you know spatial computing technology. And, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm curious what like what are you what what drove you to buy this like what 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 are you going to use it but for like i'm i'm just curious yeah so the number one thing is you know i'm very interested to just use this see if i can use it as on a daily basis for my work for doing programming and development work right the idea of having basically infinite desktop is very appealing to me as a yeah. developer and a programmer you know i have two screens now I've wanted bigger ones for a while. I haven't invested in those. So that's another place. Like I have really just bare bones screens. I don't have five. I don't even have 4K screens. I have just regular screens. Okay. So, um, yeah. You know, I'm looking to see if that experience works out. It'll be interesting to see with the weight and all that stuff, how that, how that pans out. But that, and then, you know, I like, I like entertainment and watching movies and stuff like that. So <laughs> I think that is going to be my other right. big use case is just entertainment consumption. Um, you know, I, I'm frankly the only person in my house, I think, that actually watches TV, like on the TV. Right. You've said that. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, Everybody else just else watches just on their phones their phone. or whatever. <laughs> their phone. Yeah. So, but I like to sit in the living room and watch TV. So now I guess I can sit anywhere I want and watch my big screen giant screen with a great audio <laughs> yeah. and have that that experience so i don't you know i really don't know i don't know where developers are going to take it i'm just excited to try something brand new i i think you know it's been years and years and years i was going to even comment you know like i'm seeing iphone 16 pro rumors right now right and and the iphone has gotten unfortunately just kind of tired i mean it's where it is in the cycle i mean we've been through so many generations of this but like it's a recycle of rumors. Like I think the rumor was next iPhone's going to have two terabytes of storage. Well, we've heard that rumor for like five years. I You're right. Know. Right. You're like, yeah. So what? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So just excited to try something new. 